Laura Burnell Higgs is described as everyone's first vendor friend at the Kelowna Farmers Market. She was faced with a difficult challenge when she was diagnosed with stage 4 melanoma cancer on August 4th. Sadly, she passed away on September 12th, but as her friend Rochelle Zelaney explains, her legacy lives on at the Farmers Market. Well, today here at the Farmers Market we have a memorial booth where we just have uh, her, her banner set up and a donation box and a link to, a, to the GoFundMe. And then we also have a fundraiser with Olive and Bramble Co. Um, with some t-shirts. So Laura had created an Instagram account which was EFF.cancer. Um, and so Bailey from Olive and Bramble Co. created a graphic and put that on t-shirts as well as one that says community is medicine. Uh, and we put those on t-shirts and are currently pre-selling those online to raise money for her family. Bailey McAravey is the one behind the t-shirt designs to raise money for Laura's family, and she plans to release a fall line as well. She says so far, the response has been overwhelming. We actually have gotten to the point of $20,000 that we have um, created as a community, um, and that's going to be going to for Laura's family and her daughter. Bailey describes the type of person Laura was and why she wanted to help her family. The type of person that if there was a new vendor in the market, she was the first one to run up and introduce herself and be keen to create content and share their work and um, just love them. Yeah, I just originally, when um, Laura was going through her battle with cancer, I just had the idea to do what I love best and create art and um, kind of move forward with that in hopes of creating some financial abundance for her family. According to Rochelle, one of the biggest things Laura wanted to do was raise more awareness for melanoma, such as knowing the signs, when to go get checked, and taking care of yourself. Laura leaves behind a beautiful family, husband, and five-year-old daughter. And if you'd like to donate to their GoFundMe page, a link will be available in this story's article. Castanet News, Jaden Wozni, Kelowna.